Can you guys see me? Not really, says the vortex. Well, you can see the light behind me, can you not? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Vortex, deal with it. I can't figure out if I want to play music Or just to stand up So I'm stuck in this like in-between phase But who knows, it might be the next big craze See, I know that I, uh, just do this thing, and I'm sure that other people, many people have done it before me, and many will do it after me, but I know it's not comedy, and sometimes it just feels like tragedy, so maybe I should just call it a stand-up travesty. but I usually sit down. Hold on, I gotta relight this. So yeah, um, I was smoking a fuck ton of pot, and I know that it's not that great for me, but fuck it, right? It's Christmas. <sighs> Halloween isn't even here yet. <laughs> See, I'm always ahead or behind. I can never seem to get myself to show up on time. Not for anything, not for anyone, no matter how important. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for those in the future, because there was no point in me apologizing really, because I'm just going to keep doing it, right? <sighs> I wish that instead of an apology, people would just be brutally honest with me. Instead of saying I'm sorry I showed up late, or I'm sorry I disregarded your feelings, I'm sorry that I wasn't thinking about you, I was thinking about myself, I'm just gonna say, you know I'm gonna do this again, right? So I'm sorry for the future, the inevitable future, and maybe it's my problem, it's my problem. They call it a self-fulfilling prophecy. But I believe if it's not just me, I can see other people's prophecy. It's so obvious to me. The things that people are gonna do based on things that they've done before and how they see themselves, it's pretty obvious to me. A lot of stuff is pretty obvious to me. And then again, stuff that's obvious to everybody else ain't obvious to me. <laughs> See, there are positive side effects to smoke marijuana. Yes, I wanna marijuana. Of course, there are going to be negative side effects to smoking marijuana. No, I don't want to. But I want to. And that's the problem. -a. 
You ever do stuff that you know ain't good for you? But there's something that it does for you at the same time. I want to change it. You like that? I like that. Yes, sir. Did I like this or not? Now, when I smoke weed, though, I'm just more comfortable with myself. That's all. I mean, I already have that in me, you know, that like uh. kind of shit. Um, at least that's how people perceive me. But like I've said before, the reason that I appear that way is because in my mind, I am. Sorry, I just thought it was Dave Chappelle. I don't know if you you caught it. Um, <laughs> Have you ever done that where you just like feel like you're somebody else and then you just start talking like them? I do that shit all the time. Yeah, so I just play random shit. just so sad. So you have to like make it a little more optimistic, even though we're not the slightest bit optimistic. I like that one. Maybe it would be musical improv. Why don't more people do that? Well, it's called jamming, Amy. <laughs> but this is comedy slash tragedy equals something like travesty. I already said that. I know I did. You don't have to remind me, but I know that you will. Because that's what people do. They don't think that you know exactly what's going on, but you've known what's going on for a long, 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 long time. How nice of you to finally catch up. <sighs> There's something that I go into with the voices. And you just have to be comfortable with yourself. Vortex, but nobody, <clears throat> nobody else. I guess it's sporadic, but I can make it sound like it ain't. It's a gift from God, 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 and I refuse to believe anything else. Cause I had to convince myself that I'm not possessed. I had to convince myself that I am not a bad person just because I've done some bad things. Oh yes, I have. If I could do some sort of confessional type thing, it'd be like the real world all over again. <sighs> Only all the different characters in the confessional. <sighs> I don't know if 
you guys are familiar with that show. Honestly, it wasn't that good of a show. <laughs> but I thought it was. And I got really attached to the characters. Who weren't really characters, apparently. They were real people, supposedly. Um... <laughs> But I just wanted to be on that show so bad. And I'd fantasize about it. I guess it's just the idea of somebody following me around, wanting to know about my life. Why, why, why do you feel the way you do about everything? <clears throat> I really want to know, I really want to know, oh please don't talk, just sing. <laughs> I fucked it up. Well, oh well, it's fine. <laughs> That's the same thing, only lower. See, I, I just like playing, but I'm not trying to aim for anything because uh, eventually I'll change it and I'll get sick of it. So. And sometimes I write stuff down because I think it's profound or funny, but it's usually only funny to me, I realize. Most people don't get my sense of humor because I've noticed that. Nobody finds what I want them to find funny, funny, funny. They only find other stuff funny, but at least I wrote it down, so it's still my stuff, but it's not what I thought was so profound. I've been doing that whenever I fuck up. It's like nervous tick now. George Carlin used to do it. He did he did this thing with his fucking I can't fucking do that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Where you like fucking pop your fucking cheek out. It makes a sound. And, but it is kinda like rent in a way. Like if I rehearse my life and I provided commentary about every little teeny tiny microscopic aspect of my life, this is what it would be like. I know how to talk about everything that I think about. And I'll talk about anything with anyone. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of letting my guard down because it's not really anything to me. Because I feel so separated from the world anyway. I feel so separated. And it leaves me isolated. But at the same time, I guess that's how I want to be. Because whenever I get out, I feel found out and I don't want to be out anymore. And I wish I just stayed at home. Because at least in my room, I know exactly who's there. <sighs> and I'm not afraid of psychosis. I'm not afraid of this illness, or so they call it. I don't think that it's an illness anymore. Because I just know what it is. It's just sort of an inconvenience. But other times it's a, it's like a, how do I describe it? It's like a, it's like a museum. It's like a museum, only like I'm on display everywhere. <laughs> I kind of want to do the bass line because I, I like it when I do. The 
This is my own thing. And I highly doubt that anybody could mimic it if they tried. Just like me Cause I can't hardly be Anything but anything but <clears throat> Jesus <coughs> Your fucking Your fucking throat You're getting that smoker's cop No seriously I've been rolling So many joints man It's cause you wanna smoke cigarettes What did I tell you It's the exact opposite of nicotine so if I want to say A, D, 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 A I choose cannabis I choose cannabis I'm a fan of this So yeah, I guess it's like if I'm feeling sad I smoke weed. Or if I don't want to do something, I smoke weed and it motivates me. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. It's not necessarily a good thing, though. <laughs> See, this is the problem. When I do anything that's, like, not that good for me. Like, if it's bad in any kind of way, like, I'm, I mean, I already do this anywhere. I analyze the fuck out of everything, you know? It's just finally I've gotten to a point where it's like I can pay my bills and I, you know, take care of rent, shit like that. But it's like so fucking hard for me to like do stuff because I'm just in like analytical mode and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to make a call and like have to like schedule an appointment, you know, it's just f fucking annoying. Like I... <laughs> I know I'm just whining right now, but it's like, it's that kind of stuff is like so hard for me. That's why it takes me forever. Um, but like, I don't know, it's like my parents, like they take care of everything that they possibly can because they know how hard this shit is for me. And that little uh crash that you you saw earlier uh, i i uh hit my house with my car um that's going to cost like over $800 to fix that shit i'm uh, i'm a terrible 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 daughter you're going to have to pay for it though i mean they're not going to foot the bill for that shit you know that right yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take care of it. That's fine. <laughs> I just hate this shit, man. How I take responsibility for my actions. It sucks sometimes. But you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. See, I was hoping that the situation would go away on its own, but like a lot of things, it didn't. <laughs> no, no, that that's good. I like that. No, 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 you had it right the first time, baby. Go back to it. There's this one chord that I'm thinking of. It sounds prettier than that. Maybe that's it. That sounds good. Thank you, little baby. <laughs> I 
actually like it better the, the other way because it sounds more somber. <laughs> I say this is how I come up with melodies. I, I just uh, or are these melodies? Are these chords? Uh, chords, actually. A melody. I don't know what a melody is. <laughs> That sounds so upbeat. You should always sing about something depressing. <laughs> like, it's really funny if like you just fuck with people that way. Because, you know, you have a certain sound, you're gonna be expecting a particular thing. Yeah, I, dude, I love like music that sounds happy. Like, but it's like so sad and depressing. Like, oh my God. There's this band called <laughs> The Boyly Slackly Two, and which I really like that name. That's a good band name. The Boyly Slackly Two. I'm sorry, I'm I'm talking in my southern accent. I can already tell, but yeah, like all their songs are like they sound so like happy, but <laughs> they're just they're, like their lyrics are so melancholy and there's a, the, like one of the names of a one of the songs because I think they only came out with like one album but it was so good like the whole album was really good and it's all this like really like jingly like happy go lucky sounding music just about like suicide and depression and feeling uh completely isolated and like <laughs> They're, they're known for a song called Please Be Gentle With Me. I think it was featured in, in some commercial. I don't know what commercial, but it was probably something with, like, technology. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, but they have this one song that's called Sleeping With a Gun Under My Pillow. <laughs> I was like, man, you're just... Just putting it all out there. I like that though. I do. It's better that you're obvious about it. Hmm. I love those black keys, they're so good. They're good in contrast. They don't sound good together. <laughs> That's four black keys. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm wasting a bunch of time because I don't even know what I was gonna do. I think that's why I'm wasting time. Yeah, because you don't know what to do. And you just go inside and you just, like, sort of get stuck. And you don't accomplish anything. Um, yeah, I didn't do comedy this week. I just didn't feel like it. I just wanted to stay inside and masturbate. I'll be honest. I think people would pay to see this because it's it's so like up in the air and just if you could do what you're doing now but I know it's hard for you to get up there yeah god 
I have really bad stage fright. Isn't that kind of sexy? <laughs> That's nice, right there. See, I'm trying to incorporate more keys. Sometimes it doesn't work now. Sometimes it sounds a little danky. It sounds danky. <laughs> well, these keys sound like they just don't sound as, as crisp. You know what I mean? Like, listen to this. Listen to this. But it keeps getting worse. It's terrible. It doesn't even sound like the same instrument, you know? Oh, and one of the keys is missing, too. <laughs> you just need to tape it back together, and then you can still play it. Yeah. It's very sad. Look at it, y'all. Just, just so I'm, I'm not... I'm not lying. The key is gone. I have it. I have it. It's in, it's in like a drawer somewhere. <laughs> but I, I did tape it on and the piece of tape is still on it. But it, yeah, this, this, this keyboard is the shit though, man. I love this fucking keyboard. It's so fucking awesome. And Tupac loves it. This is where he's been hanging out. <laughs> Oh yeah, this other sound that I really like, because I really like uh, organs. No, I don't know. Now there's this one sound. love that scratchy sound because it just sounds nostalgic you know and I feel like that's the way that I live my life like I'm always somewhere else in another time and place and sometimes it, it is really really sad and I just want to kill myself I'll be real but I'm not gonna kill myself I just say that sometimes Cause it's just a genuine feeling that I have but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna do it because that's pretty drastic we all know that but it's just like one of those things this is what political correctness is all about like you're not supposed to talk about suicide in a nonchalant manner <sighs> But I do think that it's funny. And there's nothing that I find funnier than a good joke about suicide. But I guess I don't take things as seriously as other people do. 
But I just understand human nature as well as regular ass nature a little better. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. Oh, yes, I do. I reckon. <laughs> I love it. I love that saying. I reckon. That's so funny. People are going to start calling you like white supremacists if you start talking like that. <laughs> I reckon. It cuts you off at 33 minutes. Just to let you know. Just let you know. Just let you know. Just let you know. Just let you know. <laughs> we can give him two more minutes. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't know why I do this, but I guess I'm good at it. <laughs> You're just good at rhyming, that's all. See, I've done this my whole life, and I always write songs, but I can't stick to them. And then I change everything about the song, and I was like, what was the point of me even writing it all along, you know? I'm all about being productive, that's why I just decided to get up and go, and take all my stuff with me, and I'll figure it out as I go, because, uh... Can't dilly dally anymore. Yeah, get up, you lazy asshole. <laughs> Everybody knows, but especially you. And you know that God knows, and you can't avoid it any longer. You just have to go, you just have to do it, you just have to face it. All the things that you're afraid to embrace about yourself. See, I just, I hate, I hate the idea of success. Like, there's so much expectation with that shit. <laughs> That's why you keep fucking up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, because then I know, I know what what not to expect for myself. <laughs> it's a good challenge. It's a good, like, fuck you. Fuck you, success. You know, I, I just want to... I just want to do it my way. Just take God with you, man. It's just going to take longer. It's going to take longer. You just, you're just stalling. That's all it is. Weed? What did I say before? Keys to the zoo. <laughs> all right. Bye.